Oh, I know very well how the secrets beckon so sweetly. Only an honest death will kill you now. <laughs> from your wild curiosity. What to do, y'all? You already know it's none other than the Xavier like Souls. Back at you with another. Let's show the other team what we're made of. Oh man, we got my friend Costa. I would imagine that's like short for Costa Rica, probably. You know, maybe I'm wrong on that. Don't quote me, y'all. Man. Well, this one is like a couple days old. This one, I didn't have any really any, any other matches after this though. But it's mighty funny how like a lot of the a lot of really weird <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of really weird people find their ways into my room that don't that claim they never played this game a day in their life. Little kids being little kids, you know what I mean? Little kid coming at you know, like some people be like, yo, yo. They're just little kids in the arm and shit, man. man. I don't give a fuck, bro. I will roast a little kid. I will make a little kid cry. Hell no, he ain't come out of my sack. You should learn some motherfucking manners. Whoever that little fuck was that came inside my room. Got his shit verbally beat. Better learn, better recognize, boy. Y'all, uh, there's a way to deal. See, like that was kind of unique the way they use their their jet uh, cancel there <clears throat> to try and like get Perry to come out as quickly as possible after the second attack. Or just unique ways to get Perry to come out quickly. I'm like, alright. It, it, it's really how you play against it, though. You know what I mean? It's really how, it, how you go about like, trying to fake out the parry. You know? Some of the time, it's risky, but you can just, like, dash in their face. They're going to parry. Right now, I'm testing to see... I'm testing their parry, testing the legitimacy of their parry, you know. And some, and they gotta also know that buying good is a thing. You know? I hate the item, but, you know. You kind of gotta play it. <clears throat> you kind of have to play this item because every everyone else plays it. Though. Everyone else is on the. The wagon of playing this damn item, and you know, they love playing. They love, you know, people just love throwing it out and throwing it out, and it not hitting anything is definitely a waste, right? Like, it it, it can be looked at as a waste, but it but they also are getting are running away from you, right? It makes you run away. Or it makes you run around. You, you you know like you gotta take actions to 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 stop this item from doing what it's about to do to you. That's if you don't already get hit by it. It's not always a death sentence, you know. You can use teleport. You you know, but if if the opponent is quick enough with Binder, you can't use teleport to get out the situation. If he's fast enough, the moment it hits you, you know, that's the thing. 
He took a little risk to get out the way of it, but it's alright. <clears throat> they need to start using jump, too. I wanted to know how to do that. That's a really strict combo, though, where they'll be attacking me and then they can go in that, you know, jet skill. I'm gonna start calling it, calling it jet skill. Sidestep and then and then keep the wall, you know, you know, and keep the combo coming. There it is. That's when they're trying to play the same like parry game. Continue to parry. You can't parry um. Well, these jet can't parry uh. Binder. He can't parry items. That's the thing. Aurora is it's a it's a strange attack. Bro. I don't. It is kind of a flex to to tell it to 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 parry it, but it's kind of like. Your best bet is to play around it and get and just go around and, and avoid it as a whole. That's your best bet is to avoid it as a whole. I thought I had him again. He's gonna panic in the corner. Nope. Wasn't a thing today. Wasn't expecting a thunder. You never go for it twice in a row because it's so linear and so easy. You know what I mean? In my opinion, I wouldn't want a feeble and just kind of like force an action and then go in the jet blade. A lot of oh yeah, it's another skill I've been practicing. You know, it's all gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna try and start implementing into matches, at least three v threes and lightning, like you know, beat down switch. I, I call it beat down switch because you use beat down and then you switch targets into heavy slash and you heavy slash someone else, you know. It can be used as a as a strange way to break up a team. You know, beat down and heavy slash and get right into it. You know <clears throat> hopefully your other partners are there not spamming projectiles the whole fight and they kinda understand what's going on instead of sitting there with a Sephiroth spamming spamming anime slash all fight and cloud of darkness spamming beam and ball all fight you know not really like you know just doing it just the game braver like, people's understanding of, of fighting of, like how to how matches should go is so to me is so non-existent right like they'll come in here and they'll i've been in matches where like you know after the team is long since like not like bunched together these guys these people are still in here like you know, like, they'll have a lightning or a, or a cloud of darkness and they'll still be spamming projectiles at one dude, right? And it's like, why are you not going in and attacking them? Like, holding them, do something other than just, just still using a projectile on them. It's, it's so, like, you know, because that's what they see happen, and that's how they gauge what is right, because, you know, no one's really telling them why they keep doing that. The, the, the entire fight, right? It's kind of like, what I'm trying to explain here is, like, the whole footsies of the fight. No one is really explaining the footsies aspect. No one is in here, like, really talking about footsies this, footsies that. You know, they're just... They're doing what they see, right? And it, it's so weird because that's the best interpretation they can come up with based off of what they see happening. Is like, they got to be... 
<laughs> like, um, seeing projectiles coming from all of them, and they play melee characters that have projectiles like they're marksmen. They use their projectiles more often than they do any other thing because they're so scared because they're finna get attacked. I understand that that thought process, but you know, if they understood how to do other things than just that, then they wouldn't. Then they shouldn't be so frightened to do anything other than you know. Picking, I know I'm saying a lot of Cloud of Darkness. There are other characters like you know they can use Darland and use his, you know, you know his whole what what is that move? You know, you know the fire attack he shoots out. You know, and they'll do that the whole fight. They won't engage anybody, but just do that the whole fight. Fuck up a wall, splat for someone, and you know it's just. Oh yeah, that's right. This happened. What did he? What does dude want, bro? I don't come in rooms fucking with him. Maybe he's cool with dude or some shit, man. It is 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 strange that the pause happens too, right in there. But you know, you can't really quantify that. Good, the army on one. It's not gonna really change what I'm doing, but I notice a definite change in this place suddenly. I noticed that instantly, though. This thing he's starting to get hit by, he wasn't before. And he was parrying. Now you don't see a parry. At least not as much. Nope, no parry that time. No parry that time. No parry that time or then. But back to what I was talking about. I mean, this is <clears throat> these lower rank players, and you know, who think they know what they're doing after watching a couple matches of better players than them. They they have no idea what they're doing still, bro. This is something, this, this, this sort of play is a daily thing that they need. They still have little to no idea what the hell they're really doing here. There we go, we got lightning strike, that's good. That's why I don't like playing with them, I enjoy playing, you know, it's, it's so different because it's, because a lot of, a lot of the Japanese players I play with, or the better players that play, they kind of get it. You, you, you come in here with Samuel or or Germany. That's what you're going to get the whole fight. The spam of projectiles, and when something goes wrong, it's a spam of "I'm sorry" or you know. You know, shit I used to do like two, shit I used to do like two years ago. You know, it's, it's, you know, or they'll spam something. Don't really know who to target or who to prioritize, even playing the mar, I'm like, playing, playing the assassin. Have no idea who to really target on the field. With, you know, like, if, if they're in a team and they're playing against a fucking marksman that's bad, well, no, 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 and they're playing against a marksman that's good, they're guaranteed to lose that match. That's all you gotta do is put a good marksman against them and they guarantee to lose. It, it doesn't matter if they have bronze on their, on the other team with the marksman. They're guaranteed to lose. Because the marksman will go unattacked the whole fight. They won't even go after the marksman. Which, you know, the delicate art of going after the marksman should be something that's prioritized anyway. Nobody does it. Nobody at that level. 
But anyway, y'all, this has been the Save Your Souls. Y'all niggas really need to pick it up. Rise you and get the fuck away from me. And I'll catch y'all later. The messenger is standing at, standing at the gate. Ready to let go, ready for the crush of the messenger. Too late for whispers, too late for the blush. The past is mercy when the future's low. Oh,